Mark Schiff, uh, stand-up comedian, actor, and writer. This is the first time I saw the play. And uh, what did I get out of it? You know, I'm a human being, I'm an emotional person. It touched me every way possible. It made me laugh, it made me cry, it made me think. And I'm going to carry this with me for a long time. You know, a lot of times I go to shows and you kind of leave and it's like they never existed. This one will be with me forever. Uh, I came to see uh, Blessings of the Broken Heart because I'm very good friends with uh, Seth and Sherry Mandel. Sherry wrote the play. Uh, the Mandels uh, suffered this horrific tragedy. And I've been with them in Israel many times on a comedy tour that I do. Um, called, sponsored by the Kobe Mandel Foundation. So I know these people, I love these people, these are fantastic people, salt of the earth. Well, what moved me about the play, Blessings of the Broken Heart, is that people need to know, this isn't just a story of one person. This is happening to thousands of people all over the world. They're losing children to terrorism. This is a terrible thing and people need to be aware that uh, this isn't just like a drama written by, uh, this is really going on. This play is, is as much alive today in other people's families as it is, was for them 10 years ago. People should come see Blessings of the Broken Heart for a lot of reasons. Theater, one of the great things about live theater is that you can be moved, you can, you know, it's, it's right in front of you, it's alive. And you're, it's experiential. This play is totally experiential. You sit there, you laugh, you cry, you feel, and you will remember. You will not forget this play. It's virtually impossible to forget the Mandel play here. You know, the play is one thing, but the, uh, what, what brings me back year after year to be friends with the Mandels. And uh, first of all, I have three children. And I have three boys. And my boys are exactly like her children. What brings me back every year to the Mandels and wanting to stay in touch with them. And the play that they've created here is that these people, it was 10 years ago, but these people need people to remember what went on, the tragedy that they suffered. And they're people who um, have grown in such a way that they're out giving to all these other people with comedy tours, with Camp Kobe. So how can I not be friends with people that are make, doing so much for the world and for humanity?